today, Governor Ralph Northam's new COVID-19 restrictions officially go into effect and with new caps on social gatherings and a new curfew. He's also asking the religious community to step up to stop the spread. But as 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett explains, not all faith leaders stand behind the governor. As Governor Ralph Northam's new COVID-19 restrictions roll out Monday, with them, a message to the faith community. What is truly the most important thing is it the worship or the building? The 10 person cap on social gatherings does not apply to religious services. So Northam is pleading with faith leaders to take caution and lead by example. Worship with a mask on is still worship. Worship outside or worship online is still worship. But some in the faith community are fighting back, including Los Angeles Bishop Robert Barron in this video posted on Facebook. Why is the governor of Virginia, a secular civic authority, lecturing us on the nature of worship? But it just concerns me as someone who worries about the freedom of the church. Houses of worship across the country have filed lawsuits over COVID-19 restrictions. Others adapted, holding drive-up services outdoors or virtually. Second Presbyterian Church in Roanoke is offering virtual sermons, limiting the number of in-person worshipers, social distancing, and requiring masks. Associate Pastor Elizabeth Link says her church appreciates the governor's guidance. We um, welcome the gifts that science has to bring. We want to listen to our doctors and to scientists. And we know that those are the people that are advising our um, leadership. Despite outbreaks linked to worship services in the Commonwealth, Northam said guidelines are tough to enforce, citing a Supreme Court ruling that temporarily blocked New York from enforcing capacity restrictions at houses of worship. Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. And of course, uh, places of worship are still asked to abide by phase three guidelines when it comes to masks, social distancing and cleaning. And if they can't, they're asked to not meet in person.